Last night, my Twitter was exploding with everything from Nick Cannon to Nick Cannon being fired to Nick Cannon being a racist. And I was just like, what the hell has happened? And what has happened is Nick Cannon on his YouTube channel, on his podcast, he came about and said a whole host of anti-Semitic and racist remarks. And it's kind of funny because I was going through the Twitter and I was looking through what's going on and I saw a lot of people, they were actually defending Nick Cannon for what he was saying. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are they defending him if someone else had said this and they weren't as famous as this guy? They'd be trying to get him fired from his job. They would be posting photos online. They'd be doing everything they could to try and destroy this person. But because it's Nick Cannon, for some unknown reason, people are defending him. And it's kind of interesting to see why these people would do it. A uh, big interesting fact as well, the quartering. he done a video on it and he put out something saying about... Obviously, Nick Cannon, he's been fired for this. But then you had people sending death threats to the quartering, to Jeremy, because he just said, he said this. That's just nuts. Because someone is reporting about it, they're like, oh, you know what? I hope you go away. I hope you pass away. Which is what they said. You know what? We'll actually show the tweet. This is the tweet. As you can see, that is literally the person who said this they're nothing but a complete and utter sociopath themselves. Because why would they go online, say this, send a death threat to someone, and they're actively encouraging someone to be a racist? Like, oh, leave him alone, he can say what he wants. No. But we're going to look at this here now. It's coming from the New York Times. Viacom CBS fires Nick Cannon, citing anti-Semitic podcast remarks. The network said that Mr. Cannon had promoted hateful speech during a recent episode of Cannon's Class, his YouTube podcast. The television star Nick Cannon was fired by Viacom CBS on Tuesday for making anti-Semitic remarks during a recent podcast in which he discussed conspiracy theories about Jewish people and praised a minister of notorious for anti-Jewish comments. Viacom CBS is the parent company of MTV and the cable channel Team Nick, both of which prominently showcased Mr. Cannon for years on various platforms. Mr. Cannon, 39, had worked as an executive producer and chairman of Teen Nick, a spin-off of the network Nickelodeon geared towards teenagers. He had also been a host and executive producer of the MTV comedy show Wild and Out. A Viacom CBS spokeswoman said in a statement that the company categorically denounced all forms of anti-Semitism. And this is what they said. We have spoken with Nick Cannon about an episode of his podcast, Cannon's Class, on YouTube, which promoted hateful speech and spread of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. The statement said, While we support ongoing education and dialogue in the fight against bigotry, we all do, we are deeply troubled that Nick has failed to acknowledge or apologising for his anti-Semitism and we are terminating our relationship with him. Which is good. In a tweet on Monday, Mr. Cannon said, Anyone who knows me knows that I have no hate in my heart, nor malice intentions. And it's kind of interesting because this is the actual tweet he sent. Anyone who knows me knows I have no hate in my heart, nor malice intentions. I do not condone hate speech, nor the spread of hateful rhetoric. We are living in a time when it is more important than ever to promote unity and understanding. And it's kind of funny because obviously he put that out there on Monday, Tuesday he was fired, and it's almost like he knew it was going to happen. And <laughs> I find that rather funny because straight away he's trying to save his own ass. Oh, no, I, I'm, 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 I'm saying I love everyone. No, we must unite. We must understand this. No, you said what you said because you believe in it. That's why you talked about it. And it's kind of sad to see that someone of, the, of his caliber, really... You know, he's not Brad Pitt famous, Tom Cruise famous, but he's famous amongst amongst teenagers and people in their early 20s because obviously MTV and everything else and the shows that he'd done. That's where he's more famous from. But the reach he has as well, and this is what he said on his podcast, which literally gets thousands and thousands of views because they want to watch his content because they like him and they like his content. He's literally given these people his opinion but it's almost like then he comes out and says, oh, no, all oh, that was just for the podcast. No. 
what you said, Nick, you believed in. That's why you've had to come out and say, anyone who knows me, I have no hate in my heart. Because that is backtracking. Because you know what you said is wrong. Carrying on. A representative, Mr. Cannon, did not immediately respond to a request for comment on Tuesday night. Mr. Cannon, an actor and a musician, is also a host on the Fox show, The Masked Singer. It was not immediately clear if Mr. Cannon's relationship with the network was being reevaluated. Fox did not respond to requests for comments on Tuesday night. At this moment in time, when the, you know, this video is being made, there is no information saying if he has been fired from Fox or not. And remember, Disney now owns Fox. So it'll be interesting to see how they respond to it. I do apologise again for the noise. They're literally right outside my house and I'll try and get as much noise from him as I can. Mr. Cannon's dismissal by Viacom CBS came after star wide receiver Deshaun Jackson was fined and disciplined by the Philadelphia Eagles last week for sharing an anti-Semitic quotation attributed to Hitler. On the June 30th episode of the podcast, Mr. Cannon was interviewing the rapper Richard Griffin, known as Professor Griff, about his dismissal from the hip-hop group Public Enemy in 89. Wow, 1989, that's gone back some years. Mr. Griffin left the group after he said in an interview with the Washington Times, the Jews are wicked and we can prove this. He also said the Jews are responsible for the majority of wickedness that goes on across the globe. Pretty sure that's what Mel Gibson said a couple of years ago as well. Speaking of Mr. Cannon, Griffin doubled down on his past remarks about the influence of Jewish people in the music and media industries. I'm hated now because I told the truth. You're speaking facts, Mr. Cannon said. There's no reason to be scared of anything when you're speaking the truth. So, Mr. Cannon, why did you backtrack on Twitter? Yeah? No? Mr. Cannon said it was an honour to have the legend on his podcast. He also said it was a shame that Louis Far Farrakhan, a minister known for his history of anti-Semitic comments, had been silenced on Facebook. Well, we're going to leave it by there. But yeah, so that's very interesting to see because, obviously... He said on the podcast to Griffin, he goes, no, you're speaking the truth. Don't hide, don't be ashamed, don't do this. But then, when he gets called out for himself, he's like, oh no, he just backtracks. Typical of a person with no backbone. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see all you wonderful people soon.